My name's Craig, and it's my pleasure to stoke the Lady Knox guys are up for you this morning. Now, over time, we've discovered what they've discovered. Quite simply, by me adding a kilogram and a half of pure soap into the mouth of the guys are here. I'm going to be breaking the surface water tension on the reservoir beneath me. Generally speaking, in the winter months, when the rainfall is heavier, the Lady Knox geyser plays longer and higher. During the summer months, when the rainfall is less, the Lady Knox geyser plays less. This white is not soap or soap powder. What it is, is a mineral which is found in the geyser beneath me here. It is called silica. Every time the geyser erupts, that silica flows over these rocks, giving it a nice cone shape. And where we are here today, the Earth's crust is between 5 and 10 kilometres thick. So we're a lot closer to the hottest stuff. Excuse me. Now this region, the Taupo Volcanic Zone, extends as far south as the Tongariro National Park, up through the central volcanic plateau where you are today, and out to the east coast where the most active volcano is, and that is White Island. Well folks, the last little piece of information I'm going to give you this morning is where we got the name Lady Knox Geyser. In May of 1903, Lord Ranfurley, who was our 15th Governor General, came to visit the prison camp. Accompanied by his wife, the Lady Constance Knox. Now she had no interest in the prison camp, but she had heard all about this geothermal washing machine. So she was given the pleasure of stoking the geyser in May of 1903, and the name Lady Knox Geyser has stuck since. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. You wouldn't credit it, folks. The speaker system is now working.